Hey, YouTube. Oh, I just had to come back and just give a thumbs up to that short rib dish I made tonight. If you love short ribs with curry flavor, oh, my God. I mean, it was really so good. I just, uh, I just, I'm floored, you know. It's like uh, unbelievable. Um, I can't flip the camera around to show. Yeah, maybe I could. Why not? I still have a little bit left. There it is. But, uh, oh my God, it is delicious. So tomorrow I am definitely going to have some some sloppy seconds. But uh, if you guys want to know how I made that recipe, um, I, have, I have the recipe here. And I actually, this is actually uh, lentil curry 3.0. I went through... Uh, Two different versions before I came up with this. So I'm going to run down the list of ingredients real quick. It is a half a cup of lentils. A half of onion diced. It is uh, one and a half tablespoons of, of virgin olive oil. It's uh, one tablespoon of curry paste. Now curry paste is hard to get sometimes. So you can substitute it with um, with Jamaican curry, which uh, I really like. And uh, this stuff here is real. I don't know if you can see it. It's actually upside down, backwards. Oh, well, such is life. But uh, that brand, it's called uh, Jamaican Choice. So uh, I really like that brand of curry. That is... Um, it gives it a beautiful flavor. Uh, a half a teaspoon of turmac, half a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of chili powder. Uh, with the chili, sorry that is backwards. Uh, I use that brand. Hopefully it'll turn regular when I do the editing. Otherwise I'll have to redo it. <laughs> um... Half a teaspoon of salt. I know you guys that don't like salt. Well, you know, omit it. You don't like it, leave it out. What can I tell you? You know, you don't have to put it in. Half a teaspoon of sugar. Now that you really should put in because it brings out the uh, the next ingredient, which is a half a can of tomato paste, which would be four ounces. Um, and you want you want to use uh, Cantadina. That's this brand of tomato paste and that really I love it and what you got to do with that is you have to saute it so you want to put the heat on it for about five maybe yeah, four minutes at a medium medium heat and you just want to you just want to uh, get it a little cooked so before you put the water in um, okay then you want three garlic cloves you want them to be sliced then a half a teaspoon of fresh ginger root. Uh, you know, you always got to have ginger around. I like uh, ginger from China. If I can't get it, uh, I try and uh, I really, I try and get it. Uh, California ginger is okay, but uh, ginger from China is really the best. So try and get that. Uh a secret ingredient is a cinnamon stick using a uh, microplane. You must get one of these. If you don't get anything, this is a must. <laughs> I use that for everything. Garlic, ginger, cinnamon sticks, nutmeg. Oh, that thing is beautiful. Microplane. A1. Uh, what else? Quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Speaking of nutmeg, quarter teaspoon of that. Uh, one tablespoon of ghee. Uh, now, ghee, you got to add it. If you don't put ghee in it, it just ain't going to cut it. There's two brands of ghee. The two cow is the best. Uh, this one is an off brand. I don't really, uh, I love the two cow. Uh, I'm all out of it, and I'm really, I, I can't find it. 
in the store, so I'm really a little sick about that. But two cow is the best. And uh, what else? Uh, blah, 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 blah. That's it for the ingredients. And there was more. Let me see. I'm just looking over my things. Oh, coriander. Did I say coriander? Half a teaspoon of coriander. See, now I got... Because I have uh, 2.0 and 3.0. So it's actually on two pages. Um... Oh, and I used like a handful of, of barley, which would probably be about, I'd say a little bit like a quarter of a cup, use a quarter cup of barley and a half a cup of lentils, half a cup of lentils, quarter cup of barley, uh, medium size Vidalia onion and eight ounces of Luigi Vitelli uh, crushed tomato, uh, also with the uh, tomato paste. So you want tomato paste, and you want the. Um, I have the picture of them. I always take uh, the can that I use. I will always take the label off the can so I know which which is a good brand. Uh, so I got like a whole thing going on like these are the best chilies that I get uh I'm really sorry that it's backwards I don't know if it's going to come out right these are the best tomatoes um I'm weird like that I guess I love to cook so much that I take the label off so I know I'm getting the exact uh stuff but uh so that's that and then you just want to put all those ingredients together uh and then I will come back with part two where I show you how to, um, well, I'm not going to show you now because I already cooked it, but I will uh, explain how to combine everything and um, you can go from there. But stand by, TonyBTV.com is the place to be and subscribe if you like my video, please subscribe um, and uh, I'm sure that you are going to love this dish. I'm sorry that I'm not looking into the camera. I'm reading my notes here. Um, I'm going to do an, another segment. That way it's easier so you guys don't get bogged down if you don't want to listen to the whole video. All right. Peace out. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. And we love you. Tony B out.